Hey, how the hell is everybody doing? Today is Saturday, January 14th, 2023. Hope everyone has a wonderful weekend, as in had, or has, whichever consonant fits properly, uh, depending on when you're watching this video. Uh, but this video should have been up before the end of the weekend, so if you watch it right when it comes out, then obviously has would still apply, but if it's Monday or later, then had would be the proper um, the verb used in that context. Whatever it is, I hope it was a good one. I hope you did something fun, or I hope you're doing something fun, um, but right, not right now. I hope right now you're going to sit and watch this video, which should be fun. And then go do something fun after that, too. What I'm here to do is, I'm actually going to split this up into two videos. So this will be the first one of two. This box right here contains two boxes from Insane Toy Shop. You will find the information about Insane Toy Shop down below in the description box, along with my business name, The Old Treasure Isle, my Macari, Poshmark, and whatnot. So... Look me up, follow me on all that stuff. I greatly appreciate it. Obviously, if you're not a subscriber to this channel, hit that subscription button, hit the notification bell, so you can be aware of uh, all my future videos and my future entertainment endeavors right here on YouTube. Um, I just recently ordered... I, it's been a while since I went on Undiscovered Realm, so I went on there to see what they had available, and they still had some of their... Uh, uh, what they, I forget what they call them. Actually, I forget what they call them. But they're like, they're $10 mystery boxes. Um, they still had some of them available, so I ordered 10 of them. Why not? So those will be coming, uh, actually, I think I upgraded the shipping on that to, like, UPS Ground. That way I can just pick them up at uh, the UPS store behind where I work. And hopefully that means once they ship, it'll only take, like, two or three days to get here. But this box is going to have two boxes of six pops. One is just their pop mystery box six pack. What they call it like a starter pack. It's going to be like six commons. Chance you might get like a store exclusive in it, but probably nothing major. I wouldn't say I'd be surprised if you were to get anything over like twenty dollars in value as far as like a single pop in those that's why it's called a starter pack and that was twenty eight eighty eight so if you do the math you're paying what four dollars and sixty six cents per pop so you're not likely to get anything outrageous but there's always a chance you can because they probably actually actually end up paying less than that for the pops they get because they buy these massive collections from people and they get them at, you know, like probably 30% of the, the, the current trending value or something. And then the other box is their New Year's Pop Mystery Six Pack. And it was a little more expensive. It was fifty eight eighty eight. So there you're looking at, what, six, seven, Nine. So there you're looking at nine, what, nine dollars and sixty six cents a piece for the pops. Still not a bad price. Piece of candy fell on the floor. I better pick that up for the dog. Last thing she needs is candy. She's already hyper enough as it is. I tell you what, my dog, she's smart. She is smart. But at times, she's really stupid, too. She hasn't quite figured out the concept of not to eat real fast or drink a whole crap ton of water when she's running around playing and, and exerting a bunch of energy. Because guess what happens? Yeah, she gets sick. And guess who has to clean it up? Me. Because she hasn't quite learned how to use a vacuum cleaner yet. From the shampoo. Wouldn't it be great? Wouldn't it be great if you could teach your dogs how to do that? If they made some kind of that was that the dogs could actually operate. That'd be great. That probably never happened, but 
That'd be great. All right, there's my little invoice. I'll keep that for purposes. Some packing material. And it looks like they've got them. All right, so I'm not actually going to know which box is which. Um, we might, might not actually know that for sure until the end of the next video. Because they're not actually labeled, I don't think. They don't seem to be. Let's get this box out of the way. Probably break that box down and get rid of it. I got plenty of boxes. Yeah, so... This was originally a Pop Mascots Knights. Chance Gila Monster. Whatever that is. And this box was originally a Pop NFL Jalon Smith from the Cowboys. So, will we get those pops in me? I don't know. We'll find out. Like I said, I'm only going to do one of these boxes, so we might be able to tell as I'm looking up value. We might be able to get a, a, a decent idea of what they are, but. Chances are I won't actually know for sure which box is which until I get through the end of the next video. All right, I'm going to take a wild guess just looking at the bottom of these. I open it up so I'm looking at the bottom. Three of these are in soft protectors. I have a feeling that the pops that are in the starter pack, none of them are going to be in protectors. So we've got three no protector, three in protectors. So we'll start with the three that are not in protectors. And give me a minute. That's the problem when you get start putting some of them in protectors, they fit in there very snug. We have got the alien boltan from Ultraman. Number 769. I believe I have this one um, in my business inventory right now. I have one of them, so it'll be listed in uh, my Mercari store right now. So I'm guessing this is going to be the 5888 one. So we're looking for, hopefully each one of these pops that I pull out are going to be $10 or more. That way I know I'm at least, at least making my money back of what I paid. This one's just on her. This was at $9. It's still, it's still acceptable. Still acceptable. So. And that might be one that, obviously I got one listed already, but you know, down the road, if this really don't garner any more value or whatever then I might I might gotta find like another alien one or you know maybe if I somewhere I get one of these other Ultraman pops then maybe I can let's say I get one of these other Ultraman pops and it's it's got a value of say twenty dollars on it. Well then what I could do is maybe bundle this with that and sell them for like twenty five combined and then I just split the difference, you know, on the one that is actually worth more. I mean, ultimately, it worked, worked out to be the same in the end, but I feel more comfortable about, you know, when it pops only like, when it's under like 10 bucks, I feel a little bit better, um, you know, especially one like this that I don't see moving a whole lot. I feel better about putting it with something else to entice somebody to buy them. You know, that way they're getting a good deal on both pops and then I don't have that pop that's going to be sitting around forever and ever. Next one. We have got, from She-Hulk, we have got Jennifer in her regular human form. That's kind of cool. That's, uh, what was her name? Ta Ta was it Ta Tatiana Maslany? Ta something like that, right? Yeah, I like her. I like her as an actress. I think she does a really good job. This look, oh, this does have a slight, slight little corner ding right here. Looks like it got that corner got pulled a little bit, ripped it just a hair. 
that's all right because I'll actually keep this one. I rather enjoyed the She-Hulk series. I said I really liked her in that role. I really liked her as, um, you know, as herself, not as in her She-Hulk form, but as herself and not just as that character, but the actual actress. I think she's one talented and two. I think she's actually a uh, rather attractive. Number three. Oh, we got another LeBron James. These are, you know, for as popular as LeBron James is in, like, the NBA, these pops are not. Um, yeah. I just... Oh, I didn't even look up that She-Hulk. getting ahead of myself here. Alright, She-Hulk. Jennifer from She-Hulk. Coming at twelve dollars, so there we go. So they're they're made up for the dollar I lost on the other one. Now I don't have I have a feeling it's LeBron James might not meet that ten dollar threshold. Oh, yeah, it did. Must have come up a couple couple bucks because I could have swore last time I, I scanned one of these it was coming in at like nine nine dollars. But it was coming in at thirteen. But yeah, I think I'm I know I have one of those um, in inventory. And most likely we listed already so that'll be put over into inventory and then once I sell one I'll just relist it to sell that one all right now we're getting into the ones and soft protectors and we have got oh we have got a stickered one we've got a Britney Spears huh, just talking about Britney Spears 2022 Fall Convention Limited Edition shared sticker. Britney Spears. Never really got into her music, I'll be honest. Never really got into the music. Of course, some of, some of her songs, even if you ever, never listen to pop music in your life, you recognize some of the songs like Oops, I Did It Again. Everybody has heard that song. Everybody. You can't help but have heard that song sometimes. But we've got the Britney Spears Fall Convention shared stickers coming in at $21. Now, if it was the actual con sticker, it would be coming in at $60. But, I don't know. I might actually keep that one. I do collect the, a lot of the Pop Rocks ones. Um, so, I might keep that. I don't think I have... Yeah, and plus this with, with this having the uh, actual con, well not actual concert, but this one being a a con exclusive, I might keep it because I know there's a, a couple other Britney Spears ones that I've gotten in the past that I ended up not keeping. But I might I might hold on to that one. I might not. I don't know. Or I might hold on to it for a little while to see what the since it just came out this year or well this past year. Maybe see what it's going to do before I decide to list it. All right, next we have got Hush from Batman. This is the 2022 Winter Convention shared sticker. So, you collect Batman pops. It's coming in at sixteen dollars. There might be another one too that I maybe I hold on to for a little while to see what it's going to do. But let's be honest, when you're in business, you know, especially collectibles, there's nothing worse than you know listing something and letting it sell, and then a year down the road seeing it's going for way over what you sold it for. All right, and the last one is. Diana Revealed from B. And this is a 2021 Spring Convention. And it is coming in at $23. Alright, this one I probably won't hold on to. 
I mean, I don't, I don't know. V was a great show. I remember, well, I remember watching, like, the original, because I think they re-released it, didn't they? Didn't they do, like, another series of V uh, a few years ago? I remember, you know, like, 20 years ago or whatever, when they did the, the V series. It was actually a pretty good series. But I just, I don't see, I don't see these being pops that, just like mainstream collectors in general will really be clamoring for. I mean, people obviously, fans of the show, would. But yeah, so I'll probably go ahead and list this one. You know, if it's selling for 23 I'll, I'll kind of look and see what other ones have sold for, but I'm guessing I'll probably list it at like 20 bucks plus shipping. All right, so let's add these up as we go along. So we got 23 for that one. And then the hush one is coming at 16. So that's 39. Britney Spears is 21. So that gives us 60. So right there we got in those three, I got my my value back with this box. And then the Ultraman was nine. So they're 69. Ha 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 ha. Giggle giggle. Everyone's favorite number, right? Well, I can't remember what LeBron James was. 13. So that'd be 79. That'd be 82. And then Jennifer is 12. So 94. So we got $94 back in value in this first box. Again, if you're interested in the Diana Revealed with the shared sticker, that will be up. Um, and if you're interested in the LeBron James or the Alien Bolton, I'm pretty sure I have both of those already listed in my Macari store. Um, you'll have to check and see. I really need to get a pen up here so I can mark these boxes as to what I paid for each one. But yeah, these other three, the Britney Spears I'll set over here with my music pops for now. The Hush Batman. Uh, I think I might be able to make room over here for it. I can turn this sign polka dot man sideways. Actually, I think what I'm going to do with this. Bear with me for a second. I'm going to pop this open. Pull that out. The JSA card I'm going to put in the back. Put that in the back of it. And then close this back up. That way I can actually see that part. Put that over there. Slide those two down. And then hush. And fit right in there. Right, right there. That's pretty good. She Hawk. Hmm. So I think I can make room over there for it because I actually I've got four, four of the Disney princess ones, the ones that come with like the little uh, um, enamel pin. That I was holding on to because for um, see what the value on those does. I have them over there on my shelf for now, but I think I'll pull those off, put them in protectors, and put them down here under with my my stash of pops that I'm holding on to for future sale. And, uh, then I'll have some room over there I can move stuff around a little bit. Maybe if I move those four, I might be able to move. Yeah, I can move the minions. I don't know, maybe what I'll do is I'll move the three masters of the universe and the Sonic 
down there, and then I'll have room up there for a few more Disney ones. Or, or Marvel ones. So, yeah. All right. Well, there we go. That was the, uh, the video for, in the box for, the, what was it, New Year's Mystery Six Pack, right? From Insane Toy Shop. Again, make sure you check out Insane Toy Shop. Uh, they drop a lot of mystery boxes. I don't think I've ever actually gotten below value on any mystery boxes that I, I bought. Even like their starter packs. You always, I've always gotten more than what I paid. Um, so if, if you're truly looking for it, if you're not real big on taking risks when it comes to mystery boxes, I would say Insane Toy Shop is one of the ones that really springs to mind right from the get-go of where you can say 95% sure you could buy a mystery box from them and at least get what you paid back in value, if not more. So check them out. Again, check out everything I offer, my, my business page on Facebook, Macari, Poshmark, whatnot. Follow me on that. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And uh, make sure you come back for the uh, starter pack. We might get something good in there. You never know. That's it. As always, everybody, hey, look out for yourself and those around you so that we all have a much better chance of staying safe and healthy. Until the next time, see ya.